the ISIS terror network threatening new attacks now in the cities of San Francisco, New York, and also London. We know it's been quite a while since we've been seeing these threats from ISIS. If you guys remember, you're going back about five years now to about 2014. This was a lot more common. They made a lot more threats towards the U.S. and other countries out in the west parts of Europe as well. And then it kind of died down a little bit, but here we go again. Now, this report was confirmed by a research group in the Middle East that monitors these jihadi networks, believed to be in Indonesia. Now, this was all found on the network called Telegram, which is where the network that the terrorists like to use to communicate back and forth with one another. There were three images posted, one with the background of San Francisco, another one of Manhattan in New York, and also in London. Now, the one in London, it shows a photo of Big Ben burning in the background, and there was a caption that said, kill them all, slit their throats, and watch them die. It's time to unite together against the, crusade, the Crusaders as the soldiers of Allah form to kill them all. Also, the images in San Francisco and, New, and in London also showed suicide bombers there ready to go, ready to attack at will. And this is very scary because if you look at cities like San Francisco and New York, these are run by liberal mayors, there's liberal governors. It's an open, it's an open door policy. Anybody can get into these states, and this is what they've been preaching for so long. It's all about acceptance. You don't have to worry about, you know, being background checked, nothing like that. Just come on into the state. It's absolutely fine. And like I've been saying, this creates an open door for terrorists to be able to march in to these cities and attack at will. This is scary. This is a real threat. You have to take it seriously, and if, they, and if anything happens at all, this is on the blood is on the hands of these mayors, of these governors, and these liberal politicians that do not do anything to control their own borders. They let anybody in. God forbid something happens. I'm going to pray it doesn't, but we're in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon, evil at an all-time high. We definitely do not need a weakened state of America right now. We need to be united against terror. We need to protect our borders. And we need to pray for God to once again have his hand on this country. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will talk with you soon.